Hey everyone, it's Laura. I bought a new purse from Kate Spade. It's a purse and wallet combo. So I'm gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna switch my purse so you guys can be nosy and see what I got in my purse. <laughs> I love watching people do this because I'm nosy too. <laughs> I think that's just human nature, right? It's kind of like you're walking past someone's house and their curtains are open. You kind of like glance over and look inside the house. <laughs> nosy people what can I say all right so this is just a black purse um they had a big sale over the weekend um and I bought a purse and then I got um I think three percent back from Rakuten so here's the wallet big wallet but it was only $40 more to get the wallet in a combo versus just getting the purse alone. So I thought, what the heck, I'll get both. Um, I'd like to say this was for treating myself for, <laughs> for hitting 1K, but I ordered this on Friday and I hit 1K on Saturday. <laughs> so, Although I knew it was coming, so yeah, that's what it was. That's what we're going with. Okay, so here it is. It's big, but I like a big bag. I'll show you my current bag which I love the color of. This one's just black. Um, my current bag is oxblood, and I love the color, but I don't love the size, it's too small. So this is from the Kate Spade outlet, which is the website's like Kate Spade Surprise. Things are cheaper on there. This purse was um, 139, so to get the purse in the wallet, it was 179. And then I used, um, like I said, Rakuten, and I paid with like Afterpay or Klarna or whichever one of those they use, where you pay in like, sorry for all the AM, A ASMR, um, you pay in four like even payments, so it wasn't so bad. Um, goodness, it's just wrapping everywhere. Okay, here's the strap. I mean, they like package the heck out of their bags because they want to make sure that, you know, they arrive intact. They put the little foam stuff over everything. All the grommets, like everything. The zipper pulls, all the handles. So this one is a triple compartment, which I like because I like to put like my makeup in one and then my wallet in the middle part that zips up. And then the other side is usually like miscellaneous stuff, like receipts and pens and you know that kind of crap okay so there's that ay, ay, ay. more packing this poor room is gonna be such a mess there's the silica pack in here so i have to watch that because i don't want kitties to get at that all right more paper more paper more silica okay yep most of it out now there's like snaps on the side, the magnetic ones that has the little cover over it on both sides. So the two outside ones snap and then the middle part zips. And then the zipper pull has <laughs> covers on it too. Like I said, they wanna make sure your stuff isn't all scratched. And I do appreciate that. I mean, you get what you pay for, right? And the thing about their bags is yeah, I do buy new ones from time to time. Not as often as you might think. I mean, I did just buy one in the spring. I bought a blue one. But like this um, Oxblood one, I've had for three years, four years. And I just switch them out depending on my moods. I mean, there might be a day when I don't want to carry a bag as big as this black one. So I might switch back to that Oxblood one. And, you know, that's just how I am. So here's the strap. I think I got everything off of it. And then it has the hooks inside, one there, and then the other one is over here. So there's still a little piece of plastic on here. Okay, got that off. I'll put the strap on off camera because <laughs> there's still a whole middle compartment to open up. All right, and more packing. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, I got it. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the lining, oh yeah, I think you can see it has the, that's her logo, Kate Spade's logo is, a, you know, a spade like cards. So that was, obviously that's her name or was her name. She passed away, but anyway. And I like when they have feet because it keeps them nice and clean. Um, you know, if you have to set it on the ground, I try not to set my purse on the ground. I'm funny that way. 
I just don't like it touching the yuckies. So allegedly the MSRP is $379, but they are now owned by Coach, Kate Spade is, and just like Coach, the stuff that's sold in their outlet in general is made for the outlet. If it was something from the full price store, they would tell you that. Um, so this was made for the outlet, so it was never really $379. Um, it probably might have been in the 200s, but it was never really $379. A similar bag at the full size store, probably, or you know, the regular store probably would be that price, but they don't carry this exact purse. But and the other thing I like about this one is this isn't the coated leather. This is like a, a pebble leather, but it feels like leather. Where this one feels like plastic, even though it is it is leather too. But so this is the old purse. I'm knocking stuff over my desk. Sorry. Goodness. Okay, that's the old purse. This is the new one. I love this color, but not the size. It's too small for me. This one's the perfect size. So, because, and this one has just got one zipper compartment and then just a little flap. Oh yeah, it's just on one side. A little flap on the side. Allegedly, you could put your keys in there, but my keys don't fit in there. So, everything is strewn about inside. So, my wallet start showing you all the crap I got in my purse. And I will be switching to the matching wallet, which actually let's look at that real quick. I won't switch it out during the video, like I said, just because I don't want to be here all day. I'm sure you don't either. And it's just kind of boring. So this is the wallet. And let's have a little thing there and a thing here. And this is this kind. So, you know, actually, hmm, I don't know. What it doesn't have is a zipper coin slot. Oh, it does in the middle. Okay, then I will. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna do it if it doesn't have that. I bought a wallet recently and it didn't have one and I was so disappointed I took it back. It wasn't from Kate Spade, it was just like a cheap one, but I still carry change. So I need something that, you know, the change won't fall out when I'm taking my wallet out. So this is a nice one. And it does have the credit card slots. And a slot, you know, for your ID and stuff. Ugh, if I can get it out. So that would be right there are those slots. And then there's more on this side too. It's like an accordion style. And then you could put your bills in there and then coins in here. So that's really nice. I like that. So that zips and then it zips around. And there is an outside pocket too. So if you wanted to have quicker access to your ID, I suppose you could put it in there. And then I'll keep it, you know, right in that center slot. So, okay, so that is the wallet. This is my old wallet, which I still love. It's pink and it's cute. It's just a Tahari wallet that I got at TJ Maxx for like 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna throw that in here because I'm gonna switch over off camera. This is my work badge <laughs> and it's stuck. This I'm gonna keep in one of those zipper outside, <laughs> the outside pockets, not the zipper ones. Separate from those stupid headphones so that they don't get all tangled up. So anyway, that's my work ID, my work badge. You know, it's a key fob thing. Headphones, I always gotta have my headphones with me. So I'll put that in the other pocket so that they don't get tangled. Um, there's gonna be a gazillion receipts in here rebate for Menards. If you're not from the Midwest, you wouldn't know about Menards, but it's a hardware store and um, save big money. They have 11% back. You just send in the rebate. A bill that I need to pay for the chiropractor. I keep forgetting about. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. I'll pay it. Garage door opener. Put that in here. Um, readers for when I'm wearing my contacts. Ooh, they're dirty. So I always, I used to not always keep them in my purse and then I would go somewhere, put my contacts in and then forget them. So two different pill bottles. This one's back in body just from, I think from Dollar Tree. It's um, aspirin with caffeine. And then this one is just a, you know, generic bottle, but I keep um, Tylenol and Advil in that one. <laughs> ibuprofen and acetaminophen. I always got some of those in my purse at all times. Some tampons, another tampon. This 
schedule for the Bucks. <laughs> Season schedule. I gotta give that to Ricky. I keep forgetting. We're gonna plan our next outing. We went to the opening day and it was amazing. And they're I don't want to say because I might jinx them, but they were doing really well so far this season. Another receipt from Aldi. I just went there today. Um, this is my Aldi shopping list, which I bought everything on my list for once. And this is a little mini bag or box bag package of Kleenex. I can't talk. From the wedding that we went to a couple months ago. I thought that was so cute. They had a little basket that said something like, do you always cry at weddings? We do too. Take some Kleenex. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. And I didn't use them because I actually had my own um, I brought because I was prepared. But it has a little like seal so that when you open it, you know, you can seal it back up. I think there's only like six or seven in here. But it's super cute. I thought that was such a cute idea. And then I've got a moist towelette. A loose lippy, another moist towelette, some loose change that didn't make it back into my wallet. Let's see, we've got a gold dollar because the vending machine at work gives you back dollars if gold dollars if you put a five in it. <laughs> and then we've got two quarters, a dime, and a nickel, and two pennies. So let's put that. Throw that in the center compartment. Now let's let's show you all the lippies I have because I know that's what you guys really want to see. I don't think there's anything else in here. There is a zipper pocket on the side. Only thing I have in there is like the little carrot instruction card that came with the purse. Yeah, that's all that's in there. Okay, so this one's empty. I'll set that aside. So this one didn't make it back in the makeup bag, but this is a Mana Kadar. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's just like, it's one of those lip glosses that it's like pH, you know, it changes colors based on your pH or whatever. So we've got that. And then this is the Ipsy bag I'm carrying. I have no idea what month this was from. It's from probably several years ago. It's got like the constellations and like a little magic rock on the end. I just thought it was cute. So it's getting dirty though. So I'm probably going to switch it out. I'm probably going to switch it to the October one. And then I've got this cab lippy. This is Sweetheart. It's just like a pretty pink. I keep like kind of everyday colors in my purse because, you know, I throw them on when I'm at work or out and about. Um, and then I have a few fun ones. This, I love. This is that holographic Bella Pierre lip gloss, which I have a lip gloss on already. I should show you which one I'm wearing. I just got this in friend mail from Andy from Andy Does Stuff it's from the ColourPop Bambi collection. This is the flower one. And it's just like pink with like a hint of like a purple to it. But this is that holographic. It's This one's more like a topper. And well, I don't think it's going to catch it. It has a shift to it. It's really pretty over like a regular lipstick. So, And I don't know what shade that one is. Um, It's worn off. But it's like it's a light pink. Then I've got this Ciate London. This is one of the glitter flips. And this one is Chaos. And this one's like kind of a mauve shade. And it does have glitter in it. And as you do that, like the glitter comes out more. It's really fun. But it's like not too wild to wear at work. So that's why I keep it in there. Um, I have this Milk um, Lip Balm in... Plush Berry. It's the Kush line. And it looks really dark, but it goes on fairly sheer. It's this one right here. That's a really pretty everyday one. I've got more. Um, oh, I've got some Dramamine. That's not a lippy. That was from when I used to travel for work. Um, I've got this one from Pat McGrath. This is Flesh 6. And it's beautiful these pat mcgrath lip glosses are so pretty i did a horrible job swatching but it's this one right here They're really creamy and just pretty 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 okay three or four more <laughs> i've got this ColourPop hello kitty one and this shade is hello fruity and it was this came in a set of three this one i think is like a pinky yeah 
like a bright pink. That's a summer color, but I still have it in here. I didn't take it out after summer was over. I've got this little mini from Lipstick Queen, and this is a color-changing one as well. Um, it's called Time Warp. I'm not going to sing Time Warp for you, but yeah, when you put it on your hand, it doesn't really show up like at all, but it's one of those that like kind of changes colors. And two more, I think. <laughs> that fit a lot in that little bag. This Buxom um, in Dolly Glamortini. You know, Dolly had to have it. I think Cece sent me this in friend mail a while back. It's just a pretty baby pink. It's right there. I love that one. And then last but not least is, oh, one of the MAC, um, I forget what the name of this line was. It was um, unique to QVC. There was a set of three of them. It was called like Blossom or something. This one's called Creme Shop. And that one's right there. So these are what are in my purse all the time. <laughs> The Manicadar one, I just must have used it one day and didn't throw it back in here. But they all fit in this great, along with my Dramamine. I don't think I'm going to put the Dramamine back in there because I don't travel that much anymore. So that was what was in my old purse, and you got to see my new purse. I'm going to put the strap on it and switch out my wallet. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. I will link um, CC in the description box below because I mentioned her for giving me that lippy. So thank you. Bye-bye.